Hey guys, hi, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been ages since I last posted on this channel. So if you want to see me consistently host productivity and lifestyle vlogs, you should definitely check out my second channel. But if you're interested in hair and beauty, then this is definitely the channel for you. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do cornrows on your short natural hair. My hair is a little bit itchy, even though I washed it like two, three days ago. So I think it's because of the too much grease I applied onto my scalp. But yeah, <clears throat> Essentially, I'm going to be showing you guys how to braid your hair. I'm going to be traveling to Seattle on Saturday. Tomorrow is my anniversary. So I need to put my hair in cornrows so I can wear my wonderful wig series that I already made for my trip and also for my anniversary tomorrow. If that's something that interests you, then you should definitely consider continuing watching this video. Cornrows are every girl's go-to if you want to keep a protective hairstyle and also just wear your wigs and make sure that they are flat. The key to making sure it's well done is to make sure that they are not done too big such that when you wear your wig it's not like bulging out so that's what i'm going to be doing today i also want to try and make it as neat as possible because i don't plan on wearing my wigs like every time so i want to be able to wear my cornrows and just step out of the house and go do stuff without worrying that it's crooked or you know that kind kind of stuff because my hair is extremely thick i'm kind of like contemplating either putting heat to dry low dry it and if i'm going to do that i usually would use a heat protectant and the one i recommend is the tresemme one because it not only does it like protect your hair it also just helps keep avoid frizziness on your hair so let's see i'm gonna just unravel my hair and see if i actually do need to put heat on it and then we'll get started i think i might need to because the tips are very very thick and my hair shrinks like crazy can you see this is what i'm dealing with so first off i'm going to be showing you guys the items that i'll typically use i'm going to be showing you guys first the items that i would typically use so i got this new brush from marshall's and i absolutely love it because it's small it's very strong it's like really really good this is the brush i carry in my bag every time i wear a wig because it fits into most bags and it's not as big as this one so ignore the red stains on it i made the red wig so that's why there's stains all over so yeah i really love the stone because it's very very strong and then you can blow dry as you're straightening your wig or anything but because my hair is extremely thick and i would spend the whole day doing this i would typically use this to blow dry my hair next you want to make sure that you have a large tooth comb white tooth comb i use this to comb out my hair and just get rid of tangledness before i then go in and brush it when i brush it i then use like a small comb to comb the tips just to make sure that there's no tangledness going on there if not you're gonna like your fingers are going to hurt more when you do it your fingers are going to hot regardless when you're doing that um some bands to just section my hair some cloth clips to hold down my hair and of course an afro comb i usually use this as well to just the same use the same function as this one so without any other ado since i've showed you guys like all the items that i'm going to need i'm going to go ahead and start braiding process so first off take out your i use a lace I have to mentally remember to take this with me so because i put it in a ponytail it's somehow manageable because it kind of like stress so i'm going to quickly section it out and get start working if not it's going to shrink again because if you look at the center here it's already like it has already shrunk so I need to blow dry it. I can't deal with this. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it. Again, if you're not comfortable with heat, you can absolutely skip this step. But because my hair is very stubborn, I have to, yeah, it's going to take a while. So it's going to be a lot faster if I just blow dry it a little bit. So let me show you guys what I use. I have this comb I specifically bought for my hair. It doubles as a brush and as a straightener. And I find that it works great. So I'm going to show you guys very quickly. So I just plugged it on. I'm going to power it on here. Trust me, one that I highly recommend. But I did get sent the heat shield by Dark and Lovely. So I think I would be using this one because it goes up to 450. Oh, this one also goes up to 450. Either or anyone you feel comfortable using. So I think I would use this one for today. And I'm going to start working in sections, starting with the tips of my hair, because that's like the problem region. This is usually a very long process so after showing you guys a little bit of it i'm going to be skipping ahead and
Okay, so I'm going to bring you guys closer so we can get started with our hair. Ignore the birds chipping outside. That's just them being funny. This is what my hair is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and pat it right at the center and divide this into two sections. So you want to put it by your nose like this. And very quickly, I'm going to pack all of one side. And that's not tight enough, but yeah this is what we're looking like i'm going to just go in and straighten it oh okay it's perfect so quick tip right you just want to make sure that this front half of your head is as straight as possible the back no one really cares about it because by the time you braid it like the lines at the back are not going to show what's going to show is at the front so you want to make sure that you're getting that as neat as you can i think this is perfect what do you think so you can see the difference between this this is a lot fatter than this one this one is can you see how sharp that is compared to this so that's why you want to use this one it makes your job a lot easier so now i'm going to start this way and i like starting from the center of my head because it makes it it makes it more even if i had started by the side i most likely like all my braids would be going one side some people are able to do it do it in such a way that it doesn't that doesn't happen but i haven't quite figured out the way and then we're gonna see to make sure that it's and we're pretty much good. So I'm just gonna brush through it and brush a little bit in my front. So this is the piece you cut, right? You're gonna take two pieces like this. So that's essentially, if you had divided it by two, you're gonna have three, two pieces like this. Then you wanna hold it like this. Can you see how my fingers are? And then you take some from here and put it through this finger. Hold it. Can you see? I've twisted this side. And now this one, this one goes over there. And then throughout the rest of it, you're using your index finger to pick and pull it to the other side. Can you see? And that's essentially. And as you're going, the whole idea is to be picking some from the hair. Once you do this one or two times, you're going to see that it's going to start happening naturally. And so, I'm just twisting. And that's why I really wanted to straighten my hair. Because if I hadn't, like there will be bumps at the bottom. And at the top as well. So I think I made a little mistake. Just like that we've done our first one so i'm going to show you one more and then i do the rest of them off camera <music> So once I separate it, I'm just going to look at it again just to make sure. So I can see that it's crooked a little bit. So again, you divide it into three pieces like so. You move that to the left, move this to the right, and then keep doing the same thing.
Perfect, and this is what the finished look looks like. Just gonna swirl a little bit, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like this video, join the family by subscribing, and I'll see you guys in my next one. By the way, I made the red wig, dyed one of my old wigs red, and I wanna see how it looks. So I'm gonna be putting it on for the very first time since I dyed it. So let's take a look at. It's good. It's giving me Rampozel vibe. I'm going to go show my husband. This is so cute. And, and I didn't even have to pull glue down. So I'm so happy that I can actually just wear it like this.